All right, so this video is going to be on why I love long layovers, the idea of a threshold, and sharing your gum in airports. At the And Yet conference, there was one night like we all went dancing afterwards and did karaoke and everything. And I am a total night owl and I love conversations, just like late night conversations. And so we were talking at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., I don't even know, about, like he's like, oh, I hate layovers or something like that. And I was like, oh, I love them. And I was trying to explain like why I loved layovers. And I was like, I don't know how to explain this. And he's like, I was like, maybe I'll make a video on it. And he's like, you should. And so I am. I am trying to explain to you guys why I absolutely love layovers. All right, so I think this idea of like a threshold or something that we go through and there's this process of being one place or one person or one thing or one time and then you're in this threshold in the middle in between and then there's the other side where something's different. The idea of a threshold has been something that's really intriguing to me and I think airports are the perfect example of a threshold. You say goodbye and then you step past this line, you go through security, you pass your bags through things, and you are in another place. You're in the middle then. And they can't come back to you. You can't go back to them. It's, you're on your own. And you are alone. When you go to an airport, you go by yourself. Or if you're traveling with someone, you go with those people. But the people you love and the people you care about and the people you're leaving, there's a point where they can't go with you. Like, you say goodbye and then you step past that line and then you are in that threshold. You can't go back without going through all this hassle again and you don't go back. I think an airport is the most tangible way of understanding. Like, it's like walking through a doorway, but how often do you walk through a door and when you're in the doorway, do you stop and just stay there? If we go through these major changes, but there's usually a before and an after. An airport is a place where people are in the midst of change. You're in the midst of change. Um, if you're traveling, chances are you're not going to be the same when you go back home. Home might not be the same. And if you're leaving home, you're going somewhere new. It's exciting and there's this journey. We don't think about it and I don't know that we need to. You can never return to the past. Like you can't return to where you came from. And I think that's something really precious about being in the threshold in the middle of these two things. Like when you're in the middle, you are a new person from like you've learned all these things and you're that new person, that new bit is in you, but you can't really be a new person until you have the chance to express the things you've learned as the new person or in your new environment. And something else that's really cool about being in an airport is virtually everyone you meet is in a threshold to their in-between things. And I think that uh, the in-between, like it causes us anxiety. It causes us this like, I don't want to be here. I want to just get there. I want to be done. I want to be comfortable. I want to sleep in a bed. I don't want to be here anymore. I did my introverted extrovert video about ways that I can be around people but be alone at the same time and how, how those things uh, work or how I've made them work or how I see them as working. But I think airports are another one of those places where you're not expected to really engage with people. When I was going back home to see family, uh, my husband was in, at a conference in Colorado and I was meeting him there and I had extra time. And so I went to the airport like an hour earlier than I needed to just with the plan of sitting there and people watching or maybe practicing language with uh, someone who speaks a language I'm studying or just people watching and drawing and those types of things. And I ended up having this conversation with a girl who it was her first time flying and she was on her way to meet her biological family for the first time. And she like, she'd left her adoptive family back at the gate. And so she was in the terminal by herself. She was scared and didn't know what to do. She was scared of meeting this new family. She was away from her other family and like alone and missing them. And she was just in this place of, I don't know what to do. And, and um, I didn't tell her my background of like uh, adoption and those types of things. I didn't tell her, um, I didn't give her any advice. I just asked her if she had a piece of gum for the plane to help her ears pop. And <laughs> she was so appreciative. And it was like, she could just see her like, yeah, and I, what? I never thought of that. And so she took this piece of gum and she went on her flight. I really want to encourage you guys to be present in those thresholds, spending time with 
other people in the thresholds, asking their stories, asking where they're going or where they're coming from, those oftentimes can turn into really great stories. Just take the time and listen to these these people tell their stories with you. And I guess being present in the threshold and being present in the airports, it's it's a chance to like really slow down and watch things around you. I think Americans have this thing where like we always want to, it's not about the journey, it's about the destination. And our goals aren't to enjoy and and stay focused in college and live every moment. Our goals are to finish college with a good with good grades. And then with those good grades, we can write a good resume. And with that good resume, we can get a good job. And with that good job, we can make lots of money. And like we're always searching for something better. And I think there's something really powerful about being in the thresholds, maintaining that spot of I am here and this is where I'm at. And it's it's going to be different when I leave and it was different when I came. And for these three days or this hour or these 20 minutes that I am in this place, I am in between spaces. And I think it's rare that we get to experience that consciously. Like for me, the specific airport experience of three days was in between those two worlds. The airport offers the chance to just be in the present and not stressing about the future. It needs to be embraced and seen as just as valid as the experiences you just had, whether amazing or awful, and the experiences you're going to have, whether amazing or awful. We should live in those moments. Like, we don't really get to experience those moments of in-between with people. And I don't think most people really talk about it or really care. I think, too, like, realizing that when you come out of the threshold, you might not be, you might not recognize yourself either. Like, you might start thinking differently and noticing things in a different way. And I think, uh, for me as an artist, being intentional about the new things I'm going to be seeing, even if they're old things. Like when I go out of the country or go back home or go to another city and then I come back, like I I have this goal. The India trip was a class to like teach us to create artwork after we, after a travel experience. And I think part of that for me was uh, coming back. And when you're back, it's this whole, no- it's a whole nother chance to explore the world. And it's this whole nother world of things you can learn and see and do. And I think for me, when I travel to another city or state or country, coming back, I, um, at least these last like three years or so, I've been very intentional to be just as observant in my own house, in my own neighborhood, in my own community as I was when I was gone. And I think those habits have made it so that I'm very excited to be in the Tri-Cities and I'm very excited to get to know this community because it There's a lot of really exciting things going on here. So yeah, these are some of the reasons why I really enjoy airports and layovers. But if you liked it, let me know in the comments below and subscribe. I do art videos on Tuesdays and I'll try to do something a little more vloggy like this on Thursdays. And then throughout the week, I may or may not do other videos. Do subscribe if you liked this. Let me know what you liked. And I'm going to keep making videos. So let me know.